What is up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. For me, actually recording this, it is Tuesday. I'm recording this in the morning before it has to go up. Classic. Hello. <laughs> if that does not describe how the last couple weeks has gone, I don't know what does. But welcome back to another Minecraft episode. I have been working a little bit off camera. Um, I can already tell you this episode is going to be a little bit shorter because, um, of course, I have homework and now volleyball started again so that is important but let's kind of talk about what we've been working on all right so first we'll start here at the house um last thursday i actually did a test stream again um and the actual shadow stopped by and hung out for most of it which was great it was great to have someone to talk to great to have people hanging out um but this is what we worked on we kind of worked on the basement just kind of getting it ready a little bit different i guess now it's kind of all finished um you can see we have a lot of empty shulker boxes we have some full shulker boxes but there's just glowstone behind there because um they actually do let light out behind them so you can put glowstone there and they still kind of produce light but you can put them and that's a nice little way to store them up on a wall and then you can see here we have the gunpowder from the creeper farm coming up i definitely gave it way too many chests but that's okay i'm not worried about it and then of course we moved our stone dirt and sand down here and let me kind of show you how um this system works so basically this is just a normal um i feel like everyone uses this sim to, uh, system to kind of get their uh stuff out um and you can kind of see it working here as the creepers kind of pour in and, and die of course that last one didn't drop any <laughs> gunpowder but basically there's a dispenser here the comparator reads into it there's a block here it could be a redstone dust it's just this was a part of the steps so it actually just kind of worked out and it pushes these um, observers into each other which basically just keep hitting each other so they uh, keep like a s system going on that's just a real quick tick which is great um, and then the gunpowder goes into this stream, into that bubble vader, and back up into those chests that we just saw um, in the basement. The only bad thing about this system is if we go to the back of the house, um, it is a little bit noticeable if you head to the back, but luckily, we very rarely ever go to the back. Um, I need to... Um, terraform a little bit more but you can see this is the actual path so um, so it stands out a little bit but I'm not too worried about it it should work out fine um, yeah and that's basically the biggest thing that's changed at the house now if we head over to the villager trading location first thing you notice we now have four four complete sections of both carrots and potatoes um, so that's awesome. We have a good amount of potatoes and carrots coming in now, which is great. You can see those farmers working nice and hard trying to get us those potatoes and carrots. The other thing you might notice is there's no chest anymore down below. So we like don't, we can't get into the findings um, from where we are right now. Um, I'm kind of also seeing if I can wait until someone drops carrots off to you can kind of hear that clicking <laughs> basically I added a um, item collection system for this stuff too so now everything just goes directly into the trading hall so I'll show you that um, it also gives an excuse to see this lovely door. <laughs> I love it. And as you can see, these chests are new. Um, and these chests, of course, just have carrots and then the potatoes are on this side. I gave more carrots space than I did potatoes because I feel like overall all of our guys have the carrot trade and then a few of them have the potato trade. So, kind of just planned ahead that we're going to be using a lot more carrots so I need storage for more carrots um, I think the only thing I want to add to that sorting system is the fact that um, 
is the fact that when it overflows, I want it to go into a, um, I want it to go into a, what do they call it? <laughs> a composter, that thing right there. The thing that makes a farmer a farmer. So that, um, that it will, it will never overflow into the sorting system because there is a sorting system back there that could break. Um, and that it just starts giving us bone meal that if ever I'm just like AFKing and I haven't been trading in a while, um, then we will just be getting bone meal. Now I have to also find a space to put that, um, and where that output chest would be because of course all these chests are already assigned to stuff. Also kind of having this sorting system here opens up this area. I still really do want to put like a brewing system over like here because I think that could be really fun and really cool. Um, I think that would be very helpful. Of course, we need more gold, which I'm going to tell you we're not working on the gold farm today. Um, so, but that is coming very soon, I, I promise, because it is something that is very needed um, at the time of this video. <laughs> um, I also finally finished out this, so it's now all sandstone. I kind of like that. And of course, we need to figure out what we're going to be doing with these guys, because I'm kind of ready for them to go, kind of ready for this area to be open up um, here. Because I kind of want to build something here um, that wouldn't like really be useful, but um, just has like a storyline behind it on why the villagers are like there and what they're doing there. I think that could be very cool. Um, but yeah, you're now up to date to everything I've been working on in this world um, in between episodes, um, which is great. Um, also in the sorting system over there is the first time I've actually used ice, which we stole from that ice spire right there. <laughs> um, so we're finally kind of moving into the new age. <laughs> I say that mostly as a joke. Okay, so I do want to kind of build something on camera today. Um, and it is going to be a fishing wharf a dock basically a pier as they call it um and the reason i want to build that is because i think somewhere like over here i'm gonna put like a fishing hut and um or like a place to actually store fish and actually that is where our afk fish farm is gonna go it's gonna be tucked into the side of this hill and walk out and it's gonna be a pier um i think i'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go right here because um, what I want is in the future I think we're actually gonna build like a boat with it so I think a boat would look really nice and so you kind of want to look for where it's gonna be deeper um, because I know realism I know this is uh, Minecraft but still um, you kind of want to look for those deeper sides so if we build it right on this edge here you see this big drop off um, right here so that could be very easy for us to put a boat in um, so I'm going to grab some building materials and then we will be right back to build that. All right, be right back. All right. So here we are. This is kind of what I'm thinking about doing here. So we have, um, stripped oak, strip oak, and then stripped spruce below the waterline. Kind of give it that darker look. And then of course we're going to have stone underneath it. Kind of make it have that concrete, concrete, not concrete look. Then we're going to be using spruce half slabs and chains and then lanterns so this is kind of what it's going to look like right here which i really like i like that look a lot it's it's simple but it's also just nice it's nice to look at all right so let's start if you can see here i kind of already have um some stone in places we're putting them every so there are four um there are four blocks in between 
just so you know. Because <laughs> um, I want it, I want it to look supported. I mean, I'm kind of. I've been looking at pictures off of like piers and stuff like that, and they kind of overly have support. Um, because they do have to put up with like weather on the on the water, um, so. Like a pier is not something really interesting to watch be built, um, but it's something I've want wanted to build for a little bit in this world. Um, and of course, you know, with me being super busy and not having the most time in the world to devote to this world this past week, um, I think this is like the best time to do it. Just kind of sit back, relax, and build a pier. So I do think we're going to come to about here, um, but I think what I want to do is actually at end of piers they have like a, I always just call it like a viewing area or just like, they have a section that kind of goes perpendicular to it for a bit. So I think we're going to actually add that. Um, I think that will look really good. So my plan is to build a boat here. Um, I'm not. I'm haven't decided what type of boat yet. Um, is it gonna be more of like a of a fishing boat, or is it gonna be kind of like a a speed boat? I haven't decided what kind of thing is gonna go into this uh, this lovely area just yet. You know, it's. We can kind of do whatever we want. Maybe I'll do every other. Maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah, we'll do every other. Every one is just like a lot. Whoops. <laughs> Chains are awesome. I, I'm so glad they got added, but they're like, their hitbox is the smallest thing in the entire world. The amount of times I place them the wrong direction. <laughs> too high. It's too high. So I think we're going to do too wide. Um, like this. So then this will go here. Like this. Like so. Is that too narrow? I don't want it to be like obnoxiously wide is the thing, you know? Cause like docks and piers, like they aren't wide. They, they're long to like get out into, um, to get out into the water far enough for these boats to come in. But they're not like super wide. We're trying to be authentic as possible here. <laughs> when you're on this, I want you to imagine that you are, I don't know, in like Florida on a pe maybe not Florida. This place doesn't look tropical enough to be Florida. I don't know, like San Francisco. <laughs> be on a pier in San Francisco and, or the Bahamas. Again, not tropical enough to be the Bahamas, but still. Yeah, I kind I like that feel. I really do. Um, do do do. I don't know why I just did that, but we did it. So well, how's everyone doing? How is everyone's week going? How'd everyone's weekend go? That's a good question. If you stop by the stream on. Saturday night. Thank you very much. Um, Enags and I had so much fun. 
Uh, we were not expecting to have that much fun, especially with like GTA Golf. Um, we just kind of... That whole stream was more of like an experiment to see if we could do it. Um, and it went so well. It's definitely something that we are going to um, keep up and keep doing because... Well, of course we have to finish that heist, but it was just a lot of fun. Um, we ended up streaming for like seven hours, something crazy like that. But yeah, so if you stop by, thanks for stopping by. If you didn't, um, feel free to like either follow me on Twitch, which is the same username as uh, YouTube. Um, or you can follow me on Twitter because I tweet every time I stream. Um, and I know that like, so I don't have like a permanent stream schedule just yet. Um, and that is because, um, volleyball just picked up again. So, um, currently trying to figure out that schedule before, before I commit because realistically that right there, like the volleyball is my job. Um, so it's not something I can just ignore. <laughs> um, and it's, it's definitely something I have to take seriously. So I would much, trust me, I would much rather be like streaming and playing video games. Uh, <laughs> but you know, you sign up for something, you gotta stick to it. That's, that's the goal, that's, that's the way life is. Okay. So, we've kind of already got the entire look we want down, which is nice. I think we're going to do them on the same ones like this, like that, and like that. Now, I think for this one, I want to... See, we have two there. So maybe if we did like three, one, two, three, like this. Like that. Uh, we, won't have, we won't have this one. Like that. And then um, we will go out, we'll go out four. We'll keep it one, two, three, four. So here. I don't know if I said it already because it is quite early in the morning. No, not really, but um, this, the reason I'm putting stone is like, so if you were to look, which no one will ever look, down here. <laughs> um, I'm treating the stone kind of like the footers or the concrete. Um, oh my gosh, first time I've really seen a drown in, <laughs> on this world. Haven't spent much time around the ocean. Um, yeah, so I'm treating those more like the concrete. So if you were to come to the bottom, you would see that support. You would see that um, it is supported by something, which I think is important. I like, I like to play this game in a very kind of realistic way, I'll say. Um, granted, this most of this game is not realistic in, in a long shot, but I like things to look like well-supported. I want them to look like they would look um, if they were built in uh, the real world. Ow. Oh, we got to try to guy. I've, <laughs> I'm like afraid to admit it, but like not in this world, but I have died to many trident guys. Where is he? Um. Cool, we got him, we got him. <laughs> I'm 
Truthfully, I always forget that drowns are in the game. <laughs> For me, they're very unforgettable. <laughs> or forgettable, not unforgettable. I guess we only kept it too wide, but that's okay. I'm actually okay with it. It kind of goes with the way we were doing it before, so I'm not actually upset. Um, it does embarrass me because I can't count. <laughs> Oh man, that's more of a, <laughs> I was going to say that's more of a joke, but like, is it, is it really, is it? <laughs> All right. Very nice. Very nice. Um, and then I still kind of want to stick to the every other kind of thing we have going. So I think we'll put one there and then we'll put one on the other, uh, corner as well when, um, we kind of get there, but where's that drown? <laughs> I hear you. I hear you gargling. Oh, it's a baby. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. One, two, three. Also gonna run out of spruce here, which is fine. <laughs> I'm okay with it, I guess. Um, but so you basically get what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to step away and kind of keep building, kind of get the materials and kind of get it finished, and then I will bring you back when this is all done. All right. So as we come over the hill, you can see the beautiful new pier, all complete and in its glory um so like i said this is going to be a pretty short episode i mean we just built a pier um i have been working behind the scenes and stuff and this upcoming week i'll have more time to work on it so i apologize for that um but i think this pier turned out super cool i think um i can picture it now having like a boat on this side and then we'll probably have like a i don't know like a swimming area maybe some floaties floating around on this side um, or something like that. Kind of make it feel homey, you know? The question I have, okay, so you can't, but I could put them here if I wanted to. <clears throat> Every, um, so often I want to put ladders and I'll be, I think we'll put them on everyone that has a light. Um, because like if you fall in, you can't get up unless you swim all the way back um, to the shore. And to me, that is a waste of time. Um, so now we can just kind of go like this and get up, which I think is super nice. And most piers, you know, have ladders <laughs> in case you fall in um, or Maybe you're just swimming or something like that. Um, so, yeah, we'll just put these final touches on. And then I think that's going to be it for this week. I know, not much got done this week. Just a pier. <laughs> All right. But yeah, kind of get a look at it from the side. I think it, look, it looks super nice it's very simplistic and it looks it looks like a pier it looks like it's exactly like it's supposed to which i love i love it when something looks like my idea of what it should look like <laughs> uh, but yeah that's going to be it for this week i know short episode i apologize um just been running around with homework and volleyball and all that stuff but next week we will actually get something done i promise um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. Um, and feel free to follow me on all my socials. Uh, I usually use my Twitter to announce new episodes or new videos or ask questions about video ideas. So if you have interest in that, follow me on Twitter. Um, and I will see you on Friday with another Tower 3D Pro episode. Um, so I will see you then. Have a great rest of your week, guys. Bye.